is the season to do a lot of eating, whether it's at grandma's house, a restaurant, or a home-cooked meal. Researchers say our environment can change how we perceive food. NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. takes us to a special new lab at UC Davis where taste and atmosphere, it's always changing. There's nothing like the quaintness of a sidewalk meal or a sit down in a swanky restaurant. But how would that same meal taste if, say, you were eating it in a forest or maybe in the middle of rush hour? Those are the kinds of questions researchers at UC Davis's Sensory Science Building grapple with every day. Everything that we do, sensory and consumer science, is dedicated to help food scientists improve our food. Researchers here regularly test foods on people trying out different tastes and textures. But researcher Julien Delarue wanted to see how setting also added a flavor. It's also the interaction with the environment. And so as they might say in Delarue's native France, voila. This is a multi-sensory immersive room that I use to uh, conduct research on the, the influence of context. Full camera. De La Rue helped develop this laboratory of the future. We have six video projectors. Where participants can be transported virtually anywhere. So we have um, outdoor environments like this. Here, a subject might sample a sandwich in a park. Create some uh, background noise. A second later, they're in the university's cafeteria. For example, here we can see that they stand in the line. De La Rue is interested in how different environments impact our enjoyment of what we may eat or drink. So is drinking a cappuccino in the cafeteria the same experience as drinking a cappuccino in Times Square? The experience is different. You know, you don't eat the same way, you don't chew the same way maybe. Maybe you'd gulp that cappuccino in a busy metropolis but savor it in a calm apartment with the patter of rain on the windows. Total difference, right? Because in this lab, it's not just the visuals changing. Participants might experience wind, heat, sound. And I can also probably make it rain. We don't live in a sensory booth. We live in very uh, diverse environments. One focus of the research is newly developed healthy foods like plant-based burgers. Because this food could be unusual to consumers. The research is aimed at helping scientists and food producers make those foods better, even with different factors at play. If you really want something different. <laughs> no, this one is just for fun. Though maybe not all environments are entirely practical. We go to space. <laughs> Back here on Earth, the future of food is traveling the world from the lab of the future. That's the, the next level. Proving that our changing tastes might just depend on whatever world we're in. Joe Rosado Jr. Like five minutes ago, we were in on Times Square. NBC Bay Area News.